and then okay that's it done so here I have my Raspberry Pi display monitor hi guys okay so let's start with a project that is using a laptop display to connect your Raspberry Pi so the things that is required for this project is your Raspberry Pi obviously with an OS that is pre-installed I have used the Raspbian OS you all can use any OS I suggest you all use the latest ones moving on next you all will be requiring an Ethernet cable a USB cable for power supply next you will be requiring an HDMI cable as well as an display that supports HDMI this is just for one time purpose this is just so that we can just install few softwares inside your Raspberry Pi that's it and after that you all can ignore the HDMI cable so let's start with Raspberry Pi so first connect your Raspberry Pi to an HDMI display and turn on your Raspberry Pi go to the terminal and you just have to type these few commands the first command is sudo app get update this is a normal update command that you all use next you all have to just type this command app get install type vnc server so this is the software that you will be using this is something similar to like team viewer if you all have used before in windows if not used no issue I uh, will be moving in this speed so like you all can pause the video and type these commands if you all miss out anyways I will be doing it in my raspberry pi and showing the video after just telling you about the commands so after typing this command the next command is cd home pi uh, it will be by default in the same location but if not just type the command uh, downloading this software will take around few minutes depends on your network speed around 5 to 10 minutes Okay, I just missed out a command. So after typing this command, you need to type a command that is VNC server one. So after typing this command, you will get a, a, a pop up like password. It will ask for a password. You can just enter a eight digit password. If you are getting an error after typing this command, then just ignore the one and type VNC server. So you will get a prompt like enter the password. So just type in an eight digit password that you want. It will ask to verify, type it again. So this password will be used whenever you will be using VNC for authentication purpose. Okay, so let's move on. Next is cd.config, then mk, this is like make directory auto start. After this command, it will it may pop up like already auto start exists. No worries. Move on to next command that is cd auto start, then nano tight vnc dot desktop. So this we are doing so that whenever your Raspberry Pi is power on, it will directly start your VNC. So you don't have to like manually enter code in your terminal like start VNC every time you on your Raspberry Pi or Raspberry Pi is powered on using your USB cable. So this is just a one time process. So after typing this command, the nanotype VNC dot desktop, a text will be opened, a text formatting tool. So in that it will look something like this. So uh, in that you just have to type these five lines. Desktop entry type equal to application name is equal to type VNC exec equal to VNC server one startup notify is equal to false. So after typing these things it's done. So just type control X and then Y to save your process. So that's it. Your job is done in Raspberry Pi, so you can just off your Raspberry Pi now. I mean, you can remove your HDMI display, it won't be required anymore. Okay, I'll just show you the entire process done in Raspberry Pi. Just a minute. okay so that was it so now what to do in your laptop so there are two main software that has to be downloaded the first one is 
the VNC client. It can be downloaded from this site. It's an official website for it. It will look something like this. Over here, you can download it. It's a small software. It will hardly take some minutes. After downloading this, it's the VNC server actually. After downloading this, it will proceed to downloading the VNC viewer. Then you have to download the VNC viewer. That's quite important. We'll be using it. So at the end, you should have two stuffs. That is the VNC viewer as well as the VNC. Oh yeah, it is the VNC server as well as the VNC viewer. Okay, so that's it. So now moving on to the next, that is the connection setup. For this, just take your Raspberry Pi, connect the Ethernet cable, one at your Raspberry Pi and other in your laptop, and power it on using USB cable. That's it. So once this is done, so what you guys need to do, you have to move on to your Wi-Fi or maybe your open network and sharing center. Moving here, you just have one. Once you connect your Ethernet cable, you'll have one more connection that is set up here. So what you need to do is connect your LAN connection. Okay, so you need to connect your Ethernet cable. Okay, so it's detecting. Okay, cool. So what you need to do now is like click on the first one, your home network. Go to the properties. In properties, go to sharing and check this box. This has to be checked and make sure this is local area connection so that you can like share the display through your local area connection. So this has to be checked and this should be at local area connection. That's it. Then okay, close this one. Then open the second one go for the details and just note down the IP address of this this is actually the IP address of Raspberry Pi so mine it is 192.168.137.1 just check yours okay after doing this what you guys need to do go to your command prompt just ping to that IP address so mine was 192. 168. So mine was okay. So you just need to ping to that IP address. So mine was. 192.168.137.1 Yeah, cool, it's working fine. Next, ping to the same one, just replace the last digit with 255. It might give some errors. Just wait for 5 seconds. Okay, cool. Keep this time out. Actually, uh, we need to find out the dynamic IP address of our Raspberry Pi. So, next command is like type ARP space or dash and A. Yeah, that's it. So, I got the first one that is this one. The 192.168.137.103. This is the dynamic, dynamic IP address of my Raspberry Pi. If you guys are not getting it, then just try doing this step again, like pinging it to 192.168.137.1 and after that ping to replace the last digit with 255 and ping it again and then after that type the command that is ARP space dash A. The command is ARP space dash A. It's everything in small. This is the command. 
So you will get your dynamic IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Just remember it. So in my case, it is 192.168.137 and 103. So for getting the display now, I'll just go to my VNC viewer. I'll type the address that's here 192.168.137.103 After typing your IP address, just type uh, colon 1 this is for selecting the port so it's mandatory that everyone types this colon 1 and then press enter my IP address is something like this so the colon 1 don't forget ok so after typing enter this will show something like this just continue this one enter the password and then ok that's it done so here I have my Raspberry Pi display monitor. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you. Yeah, we also have our own website that is eltrojuniors.tk. We take basic workshops on electronic stuff, on recent technologies such as home automation, smart irrigation system, IoT based projects, Arduino, ESP, Wiper boards, Raspberry Python, and many more. So if you guys are interested, you want to workshop for yourself or for your group. You can just write to us and we'll be happy to help you out.